Just taking a quick look at this coffee mug warmer 50 watt model. This is from Fosansky. Now, obviously, there's a million different brands selling these things. But the reason I kind of like this uh, particular one here is the simplicity of it. So this is just a good idea. You know, if you want you want to get one of these things and you want it to last, it's probably just a better idea to get one that's very simple to use. It doesn't have a whole lot of features, a whole lot of things going on. Now, one of the main things you want to look for is a lot of these mug warmers, they have some kind of a uh, sensor on the bottom that basically, you know, when you set a mug down on it, the weight of the mug pushes on that sensor and then it turns it off. I mean, in theory, this sounds like a good idea, right? That it's not going to be on if you're not using it, but that's just going to break, right? I can guarantee you that's just going to break over time. And it's really a little bit unnecessary. Just get one like this that has this four hour auto shut off, right? I mean, this is just make sure it has an auto shut off. That's all you need, you know, so it doesn't just, you know, continue to run, 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 run. You know, if, if you do forget that it's on, it will just shut off. Four hours, I think, is a good time. Some of the other models, you can customize that. But, you know, four hours, if it goes off and you're still using it, just turn it back on, right? And the thing that's really nice about this one, this little uh, LED light there, it's actually a touch-sensitive button. So all you got to do is touch it, turn it on. Um, there's three settings. You just keep touching it, and then it's shut it off. You just touch it again. So, you know, it's as simple as it gets, really. Now, as they show here, it's got a large pad on it, right? So, basically, the white circle that you see there, that's kind of like the size of, of a standard coffee mug. So, it can accommodate larger mugs because you can go all the way, you know, all the way here, as you, as you can see. Now, it's only going to, like, really heat up in the center there. And by the way, you know, when this thing's on, it doesn't, it doesn't turn red like this. It, it, it's not like, a, you know, a 1,000-watt uh, hot plate or something that you use for cooking, right? This is it's 50 watts, you know. It's just enough to, to keep your coffee warm. But that being said, you know, on the highest setting, you know, the highest setting is red. That little LED indicator is red. The medium setting, it's going to be purple, and the low setting, it's going to be blue. But yeah, on the highest setting, it really does get hot. I mean, right here, not just warm, but really hot. Yeah, I'd say that's true. In fact, I would recommend you probably just going to want to use it on the uh, medium setting here. And I do mention waterproof surface, that this top surface uh, on top of there is actually glass. So scratch resistant, wear resistant, you know. Uh, in theory, yes. Now on the bottom, ventilation design. Yeah, we do get these uh, little bit of some holes in the bottom there just to keep the, the thing inside of this thing that makes it work from overheating, right? This is going to last longer. We do get the anti-slip pads, yes. And then the wire length, the cord length, 1.5 meters, that's four and a half feet. So it's pretty decent. And there's actually three different colors available here. As you see, the all black one we've been looking at. There's a white one and this wood one looks actually pretty pretty nice i gotta say so yeah hopefully you just kind of found this overview helpful or interesting and yeah thanks for watching